throws one. This is the baseball capital of the world. Regardless of what they say in New York, or Philadelphia, or Chicago. Well, a city still in mourning more than a month after the death of legendary baseball player Pete Rose. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Courtney King. Rose, otherwise known as the Hit King and Charlie Hustle, died on September 30th at the age of 83. He had a long career from 1963 until 1986, but his most notable time was with the Reds, part of a lineup known as the Big Red Machine in the 70s. By the time he retired, he had a record career total of 4,256 hits. A memorial was held for Pete Rose today at Great American Ballpark. Rose's family was there and fans were able to say goodbye to the legend. Our Alexis Martin was at the banks where she talked to people who came out to celebrate and remember the MLB great. Emotional fans were leaving the stadium after the visitation, many stopping to take pictures at the statue behind me and leaving different pieces of memorabilia. Now some of these fans waited for hours for their opportunity to go inside and say goodbye to Pete Rose, who many also called their childhood hero. He was my idol growing up. Man, I never saw anybody play baseball the way he did, and I tried to play baseball because of Pete. It was emotional as fans walked out of Great American Ballpark on Sunday after saying goodbye to Cincinnati Reds legend Pete Rose. Well, he was the epitome of baseball. Um, none of the players today nor in the future will play the game like he did 100% um, all the time. From 7 in the morning until 9 o'clock on Sunday night, Fans were able to go inside the stadium and say goodbye to the Hit King. Videos from Rose's life played in the stadium, and fans were able to talk with his family. You could tell that the family appreciates his fans. I thank them for sharing their father with us for all these years. They, the family didn't need to do that, but it meant that much to the family and the fawn, and uh, it was nice to have that personal touch. Travis and Debbie Carlson traveled from California to be at the visitation and say goodbye to Rose. Travis says he's collected Pete Rose memorabilia for 35 years and has a room dedicated to the MLB great who he and his wife met a few different times. With tears in his eyes, Travis says he will never forget meeting Rose's family. To see how generally proud the family is of their dad. I'm gonna shake their hand and they've been here for 19, 14 hours, so um, it's, just a, it's a great enjoyment of his life. Rose's impact on baseball will never be forgotten. Many people we spoke with hope he's also remembered for his love of his fans. Just when you would meet him uh, outside of the ballpark or as he uh, would sign autographs at uh, various locations, he would always try to engage you and would tell a baseball story at the drop of a hat. People of all ages stood in the rain today to say goodbye. For some families, this was an opportunity to pass on their love of the Cincinnati legend to the next generation. I love Pete Rose since I was a kid and now I passed it on to my grandson. The visitation gave fans an opportunity to grieve Pete Rose. And it's clear his impact on baseball and people will never be forgotten. You go and look at it now and you see everything that he did, not just the 4192, but everything, all the positions he played, all the gold gloves, everything he did, you'd almost have to say he was the greatest ever of all around. Fans outside the ballpark kept repeatedly saying how special it was that Pete Rose's family put this on for them to grieve and celebrate his life together. Downtown with photojournalist Philip Prinsky, I'm Alexis Martin, Fox 19 now.